What up, y'all? I'm going to give y'all a second. Uh, y'all notice something new? Oh, oh, you talking about the microphone. Oh, yeah, okay, okay, yeah. yeah. No, okay, so real quick, story behind this microphone is uh, my boy Patrick Zeller, the GOAT, got us some microphones for the podcast. So this is just a test run of me testing out the microphone, seeing what it sounds like, seeing what it can do. So I was like, since I make videos on YouTube, let's, let's, let's test this out on here and see what we got. I'm going to be reacting to today is the PlayStation 5 interface system. All right. I'm super excited for the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox um, Series X. This next-gen gaming stuff is, like, blowing my mind right now, y'all. Like, the next goal that I have is to get a 4K TV. I still have a 1080p TV, and that's not a bad thing. I just, you know, at, at the point when 4K TVs were coming out, um, they cost a lot of money. So I'm going to wait till Cyber Monday, you know, Black Friday's on hold because of you know the c word and yeah we're gonna we're gonna get it popping but anyways um i'm excited for it also i'm going to talk about my experiences for pre-orders uh in one of the next videos because i was just on youtube and i just saw people record their playstation 5 experiences xbox series x experiences and they went from you know, and, and as far as madness, some were zero and some were 10. All right. Like, it's getting crazy out here, man. And y'all, they're just, they're just systems. Now, do I have my pre-orders? Yes, I already have mine. They're just systems, but I have mine. I ain't trying to, I ain't trying to be funny, but I got mine too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Anyways, I got mine and it's not to knock on y'all at all. It's just, man, I... <laughs> I was on I was on the ball on this, but anyway, let's let's get to this this interface system. Let's do it. Let's see what we got, y'all. Like y'all, we ready. Next gen game, we ready. If I just get a 4K TV, we good. All right. And also, if y'all don't, man, hit the like uh, hit the like button, comment, subscribe, notification bell. Also, if you do not, please follow me on Twitch and Facebook Gaming. Whichever one makes it to the top the fastest, whichever one goes up the fastest, that's the one I will stick to. All right, I will stick to that. Whichever one goes up the fastest so y'all make sure y'all like it and 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 like on both of them or if you want to subscribe on my twitch you can facebook has a whole crazy system to start getting subscribers on there so you know i'm not i'm nowhere you know where i want to be yet but i'm gonna keep cranking these videos out let's get it man let's go i'm excited if y'all excited man hit the like button please let's go let's get it let's get it I specifically didn't watch this either, just so I can watch it with y'all, man. Hold on, let's let's headphone this out real quick. Let's headphone this out real quick, y'all. Let's go. Oh, that boy on the last bar. I got lucky. It's on that last beat bar. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Let's get it, y'all. Hi everyone. What I'm Hideaki Nishino. And I head up PlayStation's platform planning and management team, which includes product and US design. Today, we are finally going to give you a look at the PlayStation 5 user experience. We will see some of the features that enable games to work together with the hardware and network to deliver a truly next generation experience. Our vision for a PS5 user experience is simple. We believe that your playtime is valuable and should be meaningful. PlayStation team members from all around the that world so crisp, want to deliver man. a PS5 experience that is completely centered on you, okay. the player, connecting you with a great play and a passionate community of gamers. With a look and feel that's designed for 4K TVs, the PS5 user experience was built from the ground up to take advantage of the console capabilities, complementing the transformative games coming with this new generation. Hold on, y'all. I want to do one thing. All right, y'all, my bad. We back. I want to make sure I wasn't recording for no reason. I should note that this video tour is from a pre-production environment on the PS5 console, so there may be a few small wrinkles or minor changes once the console launches in November. Okay. And now, 
Let's check it out, courtesy of our own Sid Schumann. Thanks, Nishino-san. Welcome to your new PlayStation 5 console experience. This time, we've started up from rest mode. We've already created an account and signed into PlayStation Network. That looks so good, man. In. What's it let us put our pictures on the avatars? In this case, I've resumed right where I left off in Sackboy, A Big Adventure. Okay. And here, we're looking at PlayStation 5's control center. From here, it's one click, and we're right back into the game. But let's take a moment and look around. Okay, yeah, let's do that. The control center is always one tap of the PlayStation button away. It provides immediate access to almost everything you need from the system without leaving the game. This includes things like seeing who is online, checking the status of a download, managing your controller, power, and more. It seems a lot more simple, more simplistic. These let's, colorful let's go home. characters are called cards, and they let you interact with games and the system in a variety of ways. First, as we've just resumed, the control center is showing a special card that allows me to get up to date on recent stories posted by publishers for games I am following. Another card here shows me recent media I've captured from my gameplay using the create button on the DualSense controller. Let's check out one of the most powerful new features of the PS5 console. They're actually just to the right in this row and we call them activities. Activities are part of the plan to remove barriers to gameplay. Let's get an example of one Those way to use in Sackboy A Big Adventure. With a tap of the PlayStation button, I'm back to playing the game. Sackboy A Big Adventure is packed with things to discover, and each level represents one type of activity I can play, many of okay. which I can go back to later to discover more. So is that keeping a progress of each activity? Okay. So if they, okay. I tap the PlayStation button to bring I up think the I control understand. center again. I can see a number of available activities both active and suggested by the system. Let's take this first one, A Big Adventure, as an example. I can see that I haven't quite completed this level yet. I'm at 33%. Let's open it up and see more. Here I can see more information, including key objectives I haven't met. And I'm seeing a very important piece of information here. It says about 10 minutes left. This is PlayStation 5's personalized playtime estimate, giving me an idea how long it will take me to complete this activity. Mm. Some All right, that's pretty cool. even let you jump directly to that place in the game. But Man, that looks so that. good. For another example, let's open that activity back up. It looks like I missed an objective to find the monk rogue's costume piece. Looks like I need a little help. Some in-game activities, like this one, offer official game help. Game help is included as a benefit for active PlayStation Plus members in some PS5 games. Hey, real quick. Y'all remember when we used to look up stuff online? Oh, uh, was it Game Informer? Well, it used to be GameCheatCodes.com, whatever. Rest in peace to those sites, man. They didn't integrate that in the game. Like you, It's helping you itself. That's crazy. That's crazy. Let's resume. In this case, I can open up that objective to get some hints without resorting to a web what search a or digging through long videos or articles that might contain spoilers. This particular hint is a video, and I can play it here in the card, and I can expand it to get a bigger view without leaving the game. Sometimes it's really useful to be able to see the hint on screen while you play. Some cards can be put in a picture-in-picture -picture mode, or, as shown here, a side-by-side -side view. Super cool. And if you pin a card, you can access it via the control center at any time. Now let's go find those rascally monk robes. Thanks, game help. The team at PlayStation wanted to make it really easy to chat with your friends on the PlayStation 5 console. So let's check out how it works. Here, I'm opening an interactive notification with a tap of the PlayStation button, and I've decided to join the voice chat that my friend just entered. Okay. Now, my friend could have done this on the PlayStation app for mobile devices, from a PS4, or in this case, from a PS5. Ah, the PS4. The controller features an integrated microphone, too, so I could start talking right away. But I always have the ability to hit the mute button on the controller or in the menus. So the chat system can go backwards compatibility. Let's go. 
Oh, you hit that loop. take on an expanded role with PS5, and they now provide persistent spaces to connect with groups that you play with. Here I have a couple of friends chatting away in the party. One of them has started sharing their screen with the group. Looks like they're playing Uncharted The Lost Legacy. We can chat while we play, and I can watch his progress as well. Boy, that is clean. Y'all cannot say that is not. This that is, is clean. That can be put in picture in picture mode or pinned to the side while you play. You can access it anytime via the control center too, but let's dismiss it for now. I didn't want to scream. Let's go. Okay, let's review. So far, we've seen how activities on PS5 will make it easier and faster to hop back into PS5 games and how you can get in-game help and chat with your friends. So that leaves online multiplayer gaming. Let's check it out. I see that some of my friends are online, so it's time to say goodbye to Sackboy for now and spin up a match of Destruction All-Stars. All right, let's do it. One of my friends in the party has already started a match, and we can join them from this card in Control Center. Y'all, I'm ready to cry, man. This is beautiful. And there we go. Destruction All-Stars now quickly starts thanks to PS5's ultra-high-speed SSD. This is beautiful, y'all. Okay, I think we've got enough people on our party, so let's jump in. And it started up to focus quick. On PS5's user experience today, so let's zip ahead so we can see more. It started up quick. And just like that, we're in. We don't have time to play a full match today, but I do think we have time to take a quick photo. To do that, I'll just tap the Create button on the DualSense controller. PS5 is always capturing recent gameplay, but when you compose a shot, even using in-game photo mode, you can capture a high-quality screenshot here. This optimizes capturing the moment, letting you review and choose to share later on. I should mention, screenshots and video can be captured at up to 4K on the PS5 console. Gosh, this looks so good, Okay, man. so far we've shown off how to jump into activities, how to chat with your friends, get into groups together to play, capturing gameplay, all of that while in-game. But what if I want to play a different game? Welcome to the PlayStation 5 home screen. Okay, I've been waiting on this. land when you start up from a powered-off state and where you'll go when you want to choose a new game to play or download. The layout of the space is designed to present games and game content beautifully on a four. And honestly, like, if you look at this, the way it's laid out, it's not too much different from PlayStation 4. I mean, it's it has it still has the same squares. It's, it's not too much different, but the look is very clean. It has a very clean look. Very clean look. I feel like I noticed something else, too, but I'm going to wait till the end to see. 4K display with simple and super fast access to what you need. And in case you're wondering, media-related apps will have their own space like this one, but today we're focused on games. Each game has its own hub completely integrated, so all you need to do is scroll down to see activities you can jump right into. Video clips, stories about the game, DLC, and more. Backward compatible PS4 titles will benefit from some of these features too. Let's move one spot to the left and check out Explore, which brings together all your games. We saw a view of this from the Control Center earlier, and another view will also be in the new PlayStation app for mobile devices. Explore keeps you in the loop with official stories from PlayStation and from all the games you're following, including trending media from the community. We'll be testing and learning about this feature in the US at launch, so not everyone will have this on day one, but it gives you a good idea of the direction. And this is PlayStation Store for PS5. It's completely integrated into the system. It's not a standalone app anymore. Browsing for new games to play will be easier thanks to the speed of PS5 and a more personalized store experience. And here, you'll be able to browse the latest games and deals. You'll find PS5 games and many backward compatible PS4 games too. I'm sad to say, but we are almost out of time. So let's pull up Control Center one more time with a tap of the PlayStation button. On our way out, why don't we quickly share that photo we took in Destruction All-Stars? We can find recently captured media in this handy card in Control Center. From here, we can do some quick edits, but I think I'm ready to share it right now. 
On PlayStation 5, I have the option to share videos and images to supported external services. I knew it. Or I can send them directly to one of my parties. Remember, parties are bigger than just voice chat now. So I'll select one of my favorite parties here. Let's attach a quick message here. The DualSense controller makes this really easy. PlayStation 5 supports voice dictation in a number of languages, so you no longer have to type messages with the keyboard if you don't want to. Simply select the microphone button. Here's a cool detail. If my friend hasn't yet played the activity where I captured this media, and the game's developer thinks that activity might contain spoilers, they'll receive a warning before they view it. Well, that's it for our demo. There are many more exciting features we couldn't get to today, but we're super excited to share more of the PlayStation 5 and PlayStation Act user experience with you in the coming weeks headed to launch. And of course, this was just the first look at what fans can expect on day one. Oh, Game that looks nice. PlayStation is committed to evolving this experience with our community in the months ahead. We look forward to sharing more. Thanks for watching. PlayStation. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That was very, very interesting. So the only thing I was going to say was what I noticed was on the little game cards. It doesn't just show you all that crap down there anymore. It's like you have to take an extra step and drop down again in order to see all that, which is brilliant because sometimes I get lost in the sauce. Um, I mean, it wasn't a game change. Like, it wasn't going to change my mind or that I was going to get the PlayStation 5 or not. But I, I think it looks nicer. Um, overall, man, I'm happy. The gra I mean, just showing us a little bit of the gameplay. The graphics look so good, man. Like, Xbox, where you at? All right, I'm not saying where you at is like a challenge. Like, where you at? Like, I want to see what you got now. I'm ready to make a reaction video off y'all stuff because PlayStation. Um, so, Sony and Microsoft, man, y'all worked hard on these things, man. So, let me know what y'all thought in the comments, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring y'all. I'm gonna start bringing y'all some story time. Let's let's start doing some story time. Then the first story time I'm gonna start off with is kind of. It's, it's, I'm gonna try to mix a little vlog stuff into this one because I took a little video for the Xbox Series X um, outside well, when I waited overnight for it. So thank y'all for watching. I'm holla y'all. Peace. Stacy Wonder is out, man. Let's go.